Good evening and thanks for joining us. In what has already been a brutal winter, Americans are being punished yet again. A massive storm is blanketing 22 states, battering millions of people and making any kind of travel next to impossible. NASA posted this video showing how huge it is. Like a giant white quilt, it started in the southeast and pushed north up the east coast, slamming into Washington, D.C. and New York City. Our report tonight is from Brian Moore. It's the worst winter storm many Americans have seen in years. 45 centimeters of snow in some areas, adding insult to injury in a winter that's been rolling in wave after wave. This winter storm has now broken a 130 year record in the city of Philadelphia for the most six inch plus storms in a season. Several major East Coast airports were forced to close runways. More than 6,000 flights grounded, causing delays as far away as San Francisco. From Mississippi all the way up to Maine, more than 100 million Americans are feeling the effects. Snow, sleet, and ice that turned Atlanta into a frozen ghost town. Highways in the Carolinas look more like parking lots. While some motorists escaped on foot, others spent the night behind the wheel. Unlike these cars, the storm sped up Interstate 95 overnight. West Virginia looked more like the South Pole, and driving was not for the faint of heart. It was very, very uh, snow-covered, only one lane, and we're moving very, very, very slow. This is Pennsylvania Avenue, America's main street, and today it's virtually deserted because the whole city is under a snow emergency. The federal government is no match for 30 centimeters of snow. The White House was closed, but down the street, the Canadian embassy remained open. Up in New York, the new mayor sounded an alarm for motorists. If you don't need to be in your car, don't use your car. But he's taking heat for keeping public schools open. New York reported one of more than a dozen and a half deaths blamed on the storm. A pregnant woman killed by a mini snowplow. Three quarters of a million people lost power during this storm, and now they're hoping to get back online before the next storm hits. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.